Police! Police! Well, hey, everyone. Stop where you are! Where are they? Trapped, Watson, with your assistance. How so? Well, you sounded just like a real Bobby, my dear fellow. You startled them into the traps. I did? I assure you, Watson, it was quite an entertaining show. They will not escape the house now. You scum! And this is the pistol used for the murder in Half Moon Street. How do you know about that? Have you closed the case yet, Sherlock? Mycroft, what are you doing here? Did you follow me? Sherlock, it may seem that I used you, but you should be pleased to know that you have served our Queen Wow. What? In this instance. So now, let us catch the big fish. But this man is not one of the merry men. No. Then why exactly are we here, Sherlock? This gentleman, Charles Foley, has been involved in a double murder and the hunter of a set of valuable antiques, the Hellenistic treasures, which disappeared in a theft many years ago. You're no better than the coppers! Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Sherlock Holmes. Crimes and Punishments. Uh, Mycroft is such a... such a... Don't you just hate him? I, I do. It's not going to be in here, is it? Holmes, that is incredible. The Hellenistic treasures. Indeed. Nothing but trifles. Where are the merry men? I don't know why you are asking me, Mycroft. They are yours to find. I'll see you soon, dear brother. He looks like he enjoys a lot of cheeseburgers, doesn't he? Uh, um... Long lost art in the precious safe. Of course. Uh, the antiques discovered inside the hidden safe of the abandoned manor at Notting Hill represent the collection of the Hellenistic treasures that were stolen in 1885 and considered to be lost. Uh, Charles Foley organized the theft of the Hellenistic treasures, which was related to the double murder at Half Moon Street. Leighton Chapman was a witness to the crime. I found all the clues. Okay. So, we just have to play around with potentials here. Um, the person who describes in a statement own imagination created to vindicate himself. So b basically the only, or they just shot each other. I think I could have had a personal motive. That messes that up. The witness testimonies and crime weapon point to one possible culprit. Guarding I mean, it kind of seems like the only double murder. Um, between the motive for his crime, an old mutual admittedy? Between Leighton Chapman and Brian Fricotti. I doubt it. No, the guy friggin' he f the guy just confessed to it. Okay. Hang on. This seems pretty cut and dry at this point. The circus, the disappearance of the stuff, the all the things. And there we go. And it all forms. Yeah, it has to. Man in the jacket. 
Charles Foley wears an antique ring, the last missing piece of the do 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 do, and also a revolver retained under his belt. It proves that Charles Foley is our mysterious jacketed man who nimbly escaped. Yeah, it's Charles Foley. Foley's vengeance. Charles Foley organized the theft of the Hellenistic treasures, which was related to the double murder. Okay. Charles Foley will be imprisoned for organizing a grand theft. Since he's not directly guilty of murder, his sentence will be shortened. Organized and executed a wicked plan of revenge with the added theft and act of ancient treasures, he deserves the rope. Uh, I don't think he deserves the rope. I mean, I think he's scum and he's always going to be scum. Uh, but I'm just, like, I just also, I'm not a big corporal punishment guy. Uh, so we're going to go with A. I definitely think it was him. Um... Yeah, the murder, I think they, like, shot each other, basically, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's guilty of theft. He's not really guilty of murder. I think the theft led to Charles death. Foley, you were a witness to a double murder. You were standing next to Vercotti when Butler fired at your accomplice. The jeweler missed him, but they proceeded to kill each other with simultaneous shots. Even if your intention was to retrieve the stolen treasure, you did not intend to kill. I shall inform Inspector Lestrade of that fact, so your sentence should be the lighter. You are a fine gentleman, with your fake pity. I do what I think is right. It is never due to pity. Farewell, Foley. I shall leave now, Watson. Gentlemen, please take our friends here into custody. Where are you going? I have unfinished business. I'll see you at Baker Street. He's going to go do a photo shoot with his new facial hair. That's what I would do. If I could grow facial hair like that? Well, well I wouldn't. Uh, but I'd be proud of it. I would let make sure people know. I'd be like, ah, I could grow that if I wanted to. Uh, which I probably could. I'm not going to, though. Be careful with the lamps. Don't bring them too close to the barrels. Good evening, gentlemen. Who's there? <gasps> that is of no importance. Look at me. What matters is who you are Ashamed. and the plans that you have here. <laughs> so you can stop us from carrying them out? Eventually, yes. Hey, careful. You'll blow us all up. I'm listening. We are a group known as the Merry Men, but I suppose you knew that already. We are the men who've already lost everything of value in their lives. We are ruined shopkeepers. We are workers who were fired from their jobs. Honest people who were robbed. We were forced out from our homes and thrown onto the street. And all of this in the name of the so-called law. The laws that were set out by our government. The laws that make the commoners only more vulnerable and the wealthy more protected. We are not only from the British Empire. Some of us are from the New Lands, America, Australia, and we are many. But men, we are still, and we are merry for that we stopped being afraid. For those powers that be had done their best to plant the fear inside our souls, and we accepted it so easily. The fear advised us to keep our heads bowed. It prevented us from fighting. Bankers and politicians, they own our lives, our work, our bread, and they push us to compete between each other, just to see who may serve them better. But in the end, they are the few, so they are weak. They are nothing without their titles. We should not fear them. Our so-called masters should fear us instead. The time has come for our group to stand tall. Our great and many merry men. We are going to blow up the London Stock Exchange. No life shall be lost. But ownerships, debts, and property titles? They shall all be destroyed. They're only papers, after all. So many people will be freed over this night. That is a radical step to take. What result do you truly expect? Chaos. But soon people will understand that they are free, and that they don't belong to anyone. They will be able to work for themselves, together, without letting the rulers dictate what to do, and finally justice will arise. 
What you are intending to do is a crime. It is not justice. How do you see justice, then? Kids go to prison for a loaf of dry bread. And how many lords do you see punished for stealing from their people, sending them to their deaths in mines or overseas to fight for land? Our masters wouldn't hear us. So now it's time to sing the song of the merry men. Will you let us do our duty? Oh, gosh. I don't think Sherlock can be complicit. Bucket of water, throw out my cigarette. Powder trail, throw my cigarette. I don't think, I mean, that's going to kill us all, isn't it? And these men? Um, I don't, I was, I was tracking with them. I mean, yes, it's an issue. Everything they're saying, their cause is a good, mighty cause, right? Right. They're going to blow up the stock exchange, though. Like, they're going to, they're, they're going to blow up a building. And I don't think that, A, we should be complicit in that. And B, I kind of feel like, although it would really piss off Mycroft, and we don't exactly do things, you know, with the intent of making Mycroft happy. Oh, dear. I mean, it's a serious crime. This is, it's like a Guy Fox, you know, like V for Vendetta. It's kind of like that. They're rebelling. So they're, yeah, it's a rebellion. It's, uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, what should I do? Um, they're probably standing there like, uh, hello, make a decision. Kill us or don't. Uh, I don't think this is going to kill them. There's no way Sherlock's going to murder them. Um, and I don't think that what they're doing... No, okay, we're going to blow it up. I don't think that what they're doing is the answer. Or is actually going to change anything. Yeah, okay. When people fight the order... They are too blind to see the consequences that throw society into chaos. I shall stop your actions, but not you. Run. Now! Yeah, okay, that's exactly what I wanted. That's the compromise I like. I don't want to arrest them. I just don't want them to blow up a building. Kaboom. Oh, I'm dead. Sherlock died. R.I.P. Sherlock, 1895. I don't know how I survived, although I like my hat. I'm guessing that's the end of the game. Is it? Is that it? Is it over? That was the Merry Men, and we were kind of foreshadowing. I feel like we were foreshadowing so, that interaction all you're along. you're interested in Russian literature now. Quite lately. It is an interesting book. I remember a few lines. Really? I tried reading it myself, but I had a hard time understanding it. Yes, Doctor. It's about intelligence. Sherlock, I vaguely recall one of the lines. Sometimes it takes something more than intelligence to act intelligently. Mm. There were also a few words along the lines of Pain and suffering are always inevitable for a large intelligence and a deep heart. Mm. Tell me, Doctor, does my brother show any signs of pain or suffering? Uh, not that I know of. Because you see, Doctor, behind all of his masquerade, my brother does possess a deep heart. So deep that he does not recall where he places his love. Well, I'm sure that... Uh... His love... And his duty that, in the first place, should be directed towards the Empire. For without it, we would be nothing. A country filled with uncivilized men. And the Empire needs order and discipline. It has no room for chaos. People who commit crimes, or at the very least intend them, deserve punishment, Sherlock. Without justice, there can be no civilization. 
But we serve the truth, not justice. Your truth, Doctor, that may prove immoral. Allowing people to terrorize London, destabilizing the whole Empire. Terrorize only the powers whom you serve, Mycroft. Not I, not Watson, not Mrs. Hudson, not Wiggins. Sherlock, the Merry Men are to be stopped. Not by me. You created the Merry Men. Stop them yourself. Only make sure that you don't create ten more Merry Men by arresting the one. Good night, Dr. Watson. Oh, that's, that's exactly the ending I wanted. Anything in the post, Watson? Any clients worthy of our attention? Only a second reminder from Mrs. Hudson about our new neighbour. She urges you to remove your... Oh, I don't care about that. Holmes, the lady who will be moving in shortly has requested the use of our spare room to place all of her boxes. Wait, what? A... a lady? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to accept my decision. Warning, you're about to finish the case. Yep. Okay. Do I find out now what I goofed? Is there a way to check my results? Is this the end credits? It is the end credits. Wow, okay. Uh, not that I'm sure the end credits aren't lovely, but maybe also copyrighted music. Um, I want to know what I got right and what I got wrong. That's all I care about here. Open the case book. Is that... Nothing's going to happen here. He's just... We're just going to circle around him getting lung cancer. That's... That's what this is. Okay. Um... So. Because the game's over. Yeah, there was credits. So. Okay. Let's... Let's... Let's let's... Baker Street is the only place we can go. We have no evidence. We have there's no dialogue. I am curious. What did we get from that last one? We got the flyer. Really? We only did six cases? I guess that's right. Okay. Um, yeah, we kind of stopped looking at these. Uh, okay, let's 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 see how we did. So, the murder of Black Peter. Conclusion: Hurtley is guilty. Moral choice: Absolve. So, conclusion: We were wrong. We were wrong. Hurtley was not guilty. What? Liam Hurtley murdered Peter Carey, but it was in self-defense against the armed and ferocious drunk sailor. So. He was actually... So what is the actual... It's not going to tell us. Okay. Yeah, the Mexicans drowned the Chileans. Yeah, they did. And we got all the clues. Yeah, okay. Perfect. Now, Blinkhorn. I think this one's wrong. Yeah. We have no idea. This one is obviously right. This one is right. Okay. Uh, we got it wrong the first time. And this one, all right. So we got, out of six, we got four correct, which is not great. Uh, but it could also be worse. Do you really wish to quit? Yes. Uh, I kind of thought it was going to maybe give us, like, some, you know, this is wrong. In fact, it was so-and-so. Oh, so you can, like... You can replay a case at any point. No thanks. Thank you for watching. That was Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishments. It was fun. I actually really enjoyed this game. Uh, maybe there'll be something similar to it in the future. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please do all three. And until next time.